Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we're going to do a room makeover. So I'm gonna film this over a couple parts, but the vibe I want for my bedroom is cozy, kind of grandma's house inspired, a little bit of vintage, very warm. So I hope you guys like this makeover. I'm no home decor expert, but this should be fun. So we picked out the paint. Let's get painting. Today's breakfast, I tried out this recipe that I saw on Gabby Martino's fancy vlog. It's so good. This is also my self tanner day. Got these cute PJs from J. Crew. Doing the law prep. We don't claim to be pros. No. Oh, that's a little too much. <laughs> this is the color, and it looks kind of like the tape, which is not the cutest thing, but hopefully it'll come together. It reminds us of like Winnie the Pooh. And as you can see, we've taped the ceiling, and I'm doing a border, and then Tyler's gonna go in with the roller ball over this so that you can't see any marks. Woohoo! Woo We're now headed to this retro spot called Ford's Garage and we thought it was appropriate because we have like paint all over ourselves. I'm gonna have some burgers. We have a gas pump. Yeah. I'm gonna take the tape off while it's still drying for the last coat. Kinda wanna replace these. Our Target rug. Good morning, I can hear the garage going off. Tyler's coming in with Starbucks. I'm currently filming for the coolest brand. This is LBLA Cosmetics and if you can see, I have gorgeous lashes right now and they are DIY lash extensions. They didn't take me long at all. I'm excited to see how well these last and I just love their packaging. We made some progress yesterday on the room. I totally thought it was gonna be like an off-white with a bit of yellow. Um, it is very yellow. It's very buttermilk, cozy, so still the vibe I was going for. But yeah, I really like can't tell with painting walls and stuff. So it's it's we're winging it. We're putting together this amazing cat furniture. And we can't give ourselves a room makeover without including our cat Santana. If you don't know, Tyler and I adopted a cat about six months ago. He's the sweetest thing. And we got him this tree from Onto Pets. It's a five foot cat tree and here he is exploring. And I'll have them linked down below. They are a small business and I wanted to bring in some greenery to my room without it being real. And this was a perfect fit. And not only do I have the tree, but I also have these canopies that you hang up. But I'm still deciding where I'm gonna anchor these into my wall. Okay, I have a room update. I've been working on it a little bit. I wanted to show you guys this mirror from Anthropology. I love it. It's kind of one of the only things that I did splurge on because mostly everything else I found thrifting or antique shopping. So I put together this dresser and before this was a light wood color and I stained it and then I also painted the knobs and I'm really loving how it's looking. Here are some vanity details. Got these candles. I've been loving headbands. My mini Penhaligans collection. And this shelf is from Anthropology as well. Look at the beautiful details. I think I wanna add some art like up higher, but I'm not sure. Still deciding. 
So I did pretty good with this area, but originally I wanted it to be wallpapered. This is the one that I picked out. It has these pretty stripes, but I thought it was peel and stick. Just normal wallpaper. We already tried with one of the rolls and really badly messed it up, but there is a little ridge. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put this wallpaper along the ridge there. We're trying it. We're gonna exacto knife this. I need to get a picture of Santana for above the tree. The vintage floral bedding I got from Piper's Classics. It was a really great price and I thought it would work really well for fall and winter and then I can always switch it out for summer. But I've always been very clueless with like the names of different decor aesthetics but I finally found one that I think I just naturally gravitate towards and it's the Grand Millennial style. So I had no idea what that was but I ended up picking out you know a lot of darker woods, gold accents, I like vintage florals and mixing patterns. So now I watched a video and I'm gonna try to incorporate other parts of that style to kind of like bring the room together. I got an enchanted hanger. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I love Fior Couture's flowers. I wear them in my hair a lot. So gorgeous. Huh? I'm a hand model. Yes, with paint all over. <laughs> Oh, careful, there's tape there. <gasps> oh, look at this. I designed these little fairies sitting on this pile of moss. And this is gonna go in my windowsill. Maybe a little bit weird, but oh my God, look at how cute they are. Everything's so tiny. They look pretty cute in the light. So I was looking for a new lampshade. <sighs> now that I'm at this point in the room, I'm gonna go antique shopping. Antiquing is awesome in St. Augustine. I'm no pro at it, but I think it's really fun. And I started to follow other antique um, shoppers or vintage pages, and I found a really fun one. This is La Rosa Antigua, so I'll have her link down below. And I was looking at her page. Here's some like homey blankets that she found. And I was just liking her stuff. And she ended up sending me a DM and asking if I wanted a mystery box. So I told her, yeah, I'm doing my room. Like this is kind of my style and let's open it up. Let's see what we got here. So we have a pretty decoration, a dried floral piece. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. First up, a teacup. These have really similar colors to my room. We have gold, some pastels, and some yellow. Another matching piece. Oh, and another one me and Tyler can share. And I was talking to Linda who sent this package and she thought it'd be really cute to make these into candles. And I love crystal. This is a vintage perfume bottle. I love this. I think that's what it is, right? <laughs> But it's so pretty. Lead crystal. A beautiful ring holder. Oh, I love it. These two are definitely going on my vanity. I think they'll look so nice. It's not a real vanity, like it doesn't have an area for your feet, but that's what I'm going with. And aside from these beautiful, delicate items, I also got a couple um, pieces of clothing that she thrifted for me. First piece, I love the floral print, the dusty shades. I think this might be too big for me in the boob area, but I can always stuff. I do that all the time. <laughs> Socks come in handy. Just kidding, it fits. Oh, this is so cute. Cute white dress, that's very my style. I love some ruffles. And anything comfortable and then another floral dress with more ruffles. <laughs> I love this one. I used to have a dress just like this and I poshmarked it, so I've been missing it. And now I have a very similar one. So thank you so much, Linda. I will have her Instagram linked down below if you guys wanna check her out. She's a small business and I had so much fun opening this mystery box and I'm definitely feeling inspired. So I'm gonna head to my own vintage store and see what I can find. I 
a very successful time thrifting. I found this jewelry box. I started putting some of my jewelry in, but it's just so big. I could get rid of a lot of my jewelry. I really only have costume jewelry, so I need to get some nicer pieces, but actually I'm gonna antique the handles as well. I use this metallic spray paint and I never spray directly on. This is gonna be a really bad DIY. So I have some spray paint and I add it to a small brush to work kind of fast. I should take the hardware off, but this room decor video is taking me way too long. <laughs> so I'm cutting corners. Before, after. Woo. Well, my room isn't completely done, but I feel like I've done a pretty good job so far. So I wanted to show you and get any feedback if you guys have any ideas or like resources. If you know anyone who has like a very glam, glam, grand millennial home, then I would love to know who so I can look at their stuff and maybe get some inspiration. Cause like I said, I am no pro at all, but I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much to Onto Pets for my new cat tree. I'll have it linked down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.